release date in a month. It's June 23rd. It's on Steam. Food in front. Mariner says the fog's been confirmed for quite a while, actually. So mind what you say. Show me what you got. Don't try anything. Uh, one five five six. Oh man, it's so expensive though. See, I don't want to buy ammo because I gotta save for the armor that I'm trying to get. So I'm not buying ammo. Let's go and sell my gold desert eagle because I don't want it. I don't really want this, but it doesn't sell for enough, so I'm not gonna do that. Our walker. I want to keep the tuxedo and shit. Trench coat's cool. Let's sell day tripper some jet because the bad batch of jet kind of sucks. Hmm. I think we have some currency and stuff up here. We were money. Valuables. What about ammo? Anything ammo-wise? Could sell those. Those are worth pretty much, but mm. all right, not too much. My retain vault two comes out eleven thirty. Yeah, but that's like I mean November's really far away. I mean Titanfall two will be kind of cool, I guess. I like Titanfall one, but. I mean, we'll see. I might, like, Battlefield 1, like, I'm, I'm never waiting for any of those games. I would never say I'm, like, like, I'm gonna get Battlefield 1, but I'm not, I'm not like, yeah, Battlefield 1! You know, it's just like, oh, yeah, I guess I'll get it. It looks cool. You know, I'm never, like, super hyped for any of those games. Because, I mean, I don't know. I just, they never hype me up. I like the new Homefront. The new Homefront got a lot of bad reviews, but it doesn't look that bad. That guy looks like a drug dealer. Alan? I mean... What, is it because of the beanie? Or the beard? Also, what? I'm sick? What the fuck? Infection? That's my last antibiotics. Alright. We're home. So now, keep checking the cooking stations, but I never have anything to cook. So what the fuck am I doing? Oh my god. Let's go and store. I want to see you rage on a game like COD. I don't really rage in COD. I mean, I guess I kind of do, but I get... I mean, I'm relatively good at COD when I play on PlayStation, but eh. It's COD, so eh. I don't really like it. It gets boring super fast. Uh, let's go ahead and store all the guns that I have. We'll just go ahead and pick out what I want. In fact, let's store everything. Except for my armor, because, you know, I'm equipped with everything. Or, I, I have everything equipped, so. Uh, we don't need this. Don't need those. Don't need those. 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 I don't... Do I want to take the shotgun? I guess not. With ten shells, that's kind of useless. 44 we're not taking. We're not taking the 4570. Alright. I don't think I'm taking the 38 either, because I'm switching it back to 10 mil. Actually, no, I'm not. Storing the 10 mil. Alright. So we want... We'll bring... Five grenades. Two... Three Molotovs. Two Plasma. A baseball grenade. Pulse grenade, just in case. Our Desert Eagle. No. Our Sniper Rifle. Our P99, our Kalesh, and our UMP. Okay. Uh, then what in Misk do I have that I don't really need? I have tons of shit in Misk. Can't store. Oh, I can store these uniques. That's for um. I gotta remember that stuff's for quests. Obviously, it's for what's his name. It's for the main quest. That's Kellogg stuff. I gotta remember that's in there. Anything weigh anything in here? Wait, did something did weigh something? Storage drive. Oh, I can store that good. Alright. Alright, cool. Rage in League of Legends. That, I, yeah, that makes sense. Mixed, he looks like a hobo. I like all the battlefields. Play that shit all day. I used to play Battlefield, but... I <laughs> Rage World of War Online. I don't vet. Uh, yeah. I know. <laughs> 
So I can actually do this stuff with it now. Whiskey's running low. You're the man lecher. Man, that's gonna use up so much. I can use the anti-material one. That looks cool. The assault one looks cool too. I wonder, does this make it like... I wonder if making it an assault rifle one puts it to not semi anymore. Oh no, the uh, you can see it right there. The bolt's still on it. So it has a long ported barrel. It's the max there. I want the anti-material magazine. It has a short night scope. I don't want a night scope. Classic short scope. Sure. Muzzle brake, yeah. No, may never. Okay. No, may never, no more. My final all over, no, never, no more. Let's give it a hardened receiver. That's using a 38. Oh, I can do new barrels. Fury hip fire, increased range and sight accuracy. Decrease hip fire, better range. I'm gonna do this one. Wow, that looks really bad, actually. I wish I can go back. God damn it. That's okay. <laughs> it looks really goofy. I have the compensator on that. I can give it a. Oh no, I thought I'd give it a laser, but no. Okay. And I think that's basically everything we can do with it right now. Can I do anything with this? And make it silver? I don't really want to do that because he's a screw. With Mimosin IPV, make a YOLO gun. A YOLO gun? I don't even know what a YOLO gun is. I play the Cheese Champion that has a Resurrect Passive. Man, I've never played League in my life. The only MOBA I've ever played is, um, Years of the Storm. So what does this site look like? Oh, I like the look of this site. It looks kind of cool. I mean, I'm not going to lie. The model is a little bit, I mean, it has like some... Rough edges there, some rough corners, as you can see. But it looks cool. I like it, so I'm gonna use that. I'm digging this, I'm digging it. Also, what happened to my notifications up here? It doesn't tell me when I like use water or anything. Does it tell me when I fill bottles? No! What the fuck? What a weird bug. I wonder what causes that, or how I can fix that. I think it's just a permanent bug in the save, I guess. I don't think there's anything else I can do with it. That's unfortunate. wonder why it does that. Alright. Let's see. I don't really want anything in here. Not this stuff. Let's go and start taking it all apart. Sorry, old man. I'm gonna bring him with us anyway, because he might have some unique dialogue. Um, yeah. Scrap everything! His house is now destroyed! Ha <laughs> ha! Alright. Let's go and sleep until morning. That'd be 10 hours then. Sleep till 6. Oh, wait, no. I'm thinking about sleeping till 8. I always sleep till 8 in, like, Skyrim, so I, I always. The thing I think of is 8, so I wanna sleep till 6. Let's go ahead and eat. Just once, let me find a pair of socks that don't have holes in them. We heading out? Yep, let's go. That's right. Let's get going. After you then. Alright, so we're losing a lot of carry weight now. Um, we're down to 225, so we're literally back down to almost what it was before. I uh, don't know if I like that. Well, we can use these guys as mules now, though, which is good. So, dog meat. Hey. Sneaky of mule. You have tons of shit on you that I want to take off you. How you doing, buddy? No, I wanted to hey. trade. God Never damn it. Never mind, boy. Hey. Trade. There we go. Oh, my God. You have a lot of shit on you. Just take. No, I don't want to take all because then I'll have to give him back his shit. God, so much 5 millimeter. I did take off. Fuck. I want to give you your armor back or your your face mask and stuff. Here. 
Skull bandana? No, wait. I want the one that uh, Erickson gave us. There you go, buddy. Let's see. So, the Mysterious Magnum. I'm going to sell that. Uh, I guess I'll... Yeah, put that away. And then the USP I'll put away. Cryogenic combat left arm. Do I want that? Alt tech jumpsuit? No. I don't know if I want this. I'll put it in there. I was thinking about selling it, but let's put it away for now. Put all the mods away. Five millimeter away. I think we're ready to go finally. All right, let's go. Then you can do close to me and range with me like a bank yeah, compatibility. My bones, so basically, out. just like a gun with a bayonet that's like a shotgun or uh, an assault rifle oh, that's automatic. All right, let's go. We'll just go ahead to Far Harbor real quick and sell a few things, and then we're gonna go to the trailer room of Adam. Oh, and I need to hotkey all my guns again. So, P99 is one. That was already hotkeyed. UMP, two. Active Clash will make three. Sniper Rifle, four. Edge Eagle, five. And put frags on. Make sure all loaded up. Good to go. Cool. And honestly, with the extended barrel on this thing, it does look kind of okay from this angle. It just looks really weird from the side. Why do they call it a jumpsuit when you don't really have to jump in it? You're back. Uh Shut up, Jacob. <laughs> Why don't you Google it, man? Who named jumpsuits? Show me what you got. Let's deal. Also, I just noticed something. That's pretty cool. Let's go and sell this first if I point it out. You need Look it. at this. Bait shop's got it. Look, normal coffee cup and drinking glass, but they're actually different textures for Far Harbor. I didn't even notice Talk that. Same with all these plates. <laughs> Holy shit. It's all retextured. Oh, that's so cool. Like, I'm just, I'm excited about that. I don't know why, but that's really cool. All right. Let's head out. Where are we going? We're going to... Oh, my God. Reunions. Oh no, that's okay. What's closest? It's there. Trapper leaders all the way down there. And then the. I guess we're gonna go to the fucking nucleus first. That's actually relatively close. We'll go around the bottom of the island. Or no, we'll go right through Acadia because I don't feel like doing that again. Still waiting for an Immersive Patrols mod. Still waiting for... Like, there's a lot of Skyrim mods I wouldn't mind seeing in this. Because, like, there's... I mean, I'm waiting for a lot of New Vegas mods, but really, Skyrim has a ton of good ones, too, honestly. I'm gonna go die in a trench corner. Alright, Jacob. Have fun in Battlefield 1. <laughs> you better be sorry, man. Asking questions about jumpsuits. God. Here's the water purifiers. Mm. I don't think there's a way up this way. I don't get through Cadia here. Oh, wait, maybe this. Yep. Maybe. Come on. Parkour. Parkour! Oh, come on. Really? Really? Oh, we're almost there. We're making it. I think I can do this. Come on. Just get up in here. There we go. 
Wow. It's like taking a horse up a mountain in oblivion. Nice. I'm actually very hyped for Battlefield 1 because there's like no game that's actually worth playing other than Verdun that takes place in World War 1. That is pretty true. There really aren't many World War 1 games at all. What is this? Uh, okay, yeah, let's go in. <laughs> it's because World War 1 is kind of a weird thing to, uh, you know, model in a game. What the fuck? Oh, it's Children of Adam! Whoa! Oh my god, I forgot I had a companion that was talking. Oh, this is... Okay, this is a bit weird here. Let's see what happened. Uh... I don't have to use this. I, don't... I might not be able to progress. It's probably a quest-related thing. Yeah, I need fuses to open that up. Quest later on, then. Oh, there's the fuse. That should do it, right? No? Maybe more fuses laying around? Oh, there's one. I think I'm still missing two more. One more. It's weird because uh, World War One isn't is like a lot of it's like sitting in trenches and stuff, so it kind of oh shit. So like I mean, how are you gonna model that into a really fun game? You know, it's not easy. Oh, oh! Oh! Oh my God! Where am I? I don't know. I just started walking around. Alright. Yeah, but the tanks aren't easy to model. I mean, Verdun doesn't even use tanks, you know? You have to remember, the tanks in World War I were rarely even defeated on the battlefield. So it's like... Because not many things could penetrate them. So it's like... That doesn't make for a good gameplay either. Oh. I'm here. Hello! Holy hell. Where'd he go? What? Oh. Holy shit, dude. You went far. Stuff. Talking campaign? Oh, well, I mean, I guess, yeah, campaign. But even now, there's not many World War One campaigns, if any. I mean, besides, I mean, does, Verdun doesn't have a campaign, right? Alright, Faded. Have a nice night, man. See you later. Oh, we're still... Oh, locked down. I'll have to go and destroy all the security. Saying everything at this point. Facility terminal? This should be it. Uh. Oh. Well, hold on. Let me see about disabling lockdown first. If I can. Unless it's something quest related, which, you know, whatever. Then we'll just leave. I need credentials. Okay. Alright, let's see. Remember why you're there. 
While your efforts to further the, the viability of the wind power experiment are admirable, Dr. Reidecker, we don't want you losing focus on why exactly GDA is funding this project. You're up there to make us look good to all U.S. Senators and Representatives vacationing in the great state of Maine and not like a company baselessly accused of poisoning their constituents' groundwater. We're in the fusion business, Kelly, so just file your reports, collect your paycheck, and enjoy the fact you're living on a resort island on our dime. I think they're going to be streaming because I want to try and save her the whole time. Uh, probably for at least another two, three, maybe four hours. Or at least two hours. At least two hours, but maybe probably longer. Whatever one logic here in my bar <laughs> penetrate this wall of moving steel. I mean, maybe. No need for hostility. I mean, what else, you know, when you're scared, of course you're just going to shoot at it. What else you got, you know? It's not logic. I mean, you're scared. There's no need to get hostile, Doc. We're partners in this, remember? I ran your report up the chain like you asked, and it's generated as much interest as I told you it would. Perpetually sustainable power isn't a phrase that gets people excited around here, so unless you can figure out how to, how your self-proclaimed breakthrough can be made to sell more household fusion, fusion generators, I'd just lay off. I'm trying to help you, Kelly. Yeah, Kelly. Got what you wanted. You want attention from corporate? Well, you're getting it. Your team has two weeks to wrap up whatever they're doing before we began dismantling the plant. The board members read the report you sent them back, sent them behind my back, and decided it was against GDA's best interest to spend money on a possible. Thank you so much, Begun Valkyrie, for the follow. I really appreciate it, man. Decided it was against GDA's best interest to spend money on a possible rival technology. This could have been so easy, Doc, but you had to mess it up. There was one thing I need to say, though. Please take time to remind your team of the non-disclosure agreements they all signed. Those are perpetually binding. They can shoot at infantry surrounding the tank? Yeah, but the the infantry surrounding the tank aren't, isn't the thing with the giant guns on it, you know? So, I mean... Obviously, they're going to shoot at that. Alright, so I don't think I can do anything here because I don't have the credentials. I'm guessing it's a it's a quest, but uh, that's okay. Let's see what this one has. Try credentials. Yeah, I need the credentials to activate. I probably need like a key card from someone. I don't think there's one laying around in here. Oh, that totally looks readable. Nope. All right, let's go. Wait. I'll take those. I'll just give them to uh, what's his face if I start getting over and covered. In fact, I'll do it right now. Give it to him now. I'd wait there. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. Given or taken. Like when you have a big metal machine with machine guns that you've probably never even seen before, your your first thought is not going to be, "Hey, let's shoot the men around it." Like you gotta understand, Jacob. If you were out there, you would not be thinking that. If you were in that time, you because you've never seen a tank before. Tanks are new. So I got the mouse has never see combat. Use history would be different if it did. Uh, I disagree. I don't think the mouse would have made too much of a difference just because it's such an impractical design and because it's such a clunky design and with how it could like the, the move, the mobility of it and how it was muddy. I, like like over, especially on the eastern front where it was super super bad terrain for heavy vehicles. I don't think the mouse would have changed history at all. It would just been another flop, honestly. In the defense of Berlin, I still don't think it would have changed history. Like, changed history implies that they would have won. I don't think that would have happened. I mean, I guess it would have been harder to go up against, but I don't think it would have changed it. The mouse was a clunky design. looked at these buildings over here. What do they have? Ammo? Oh, maybe I have looked at these buildings before. Oh, I guess I have been in here. I don't remember it. It's probably a while ago. Alright, let's keep heading to the nucleus. 
We're almost there. I've never seen the western side of the island. All I know is it might possibly have mutants everywhere. So you gotta be a little bit careful with that. Not saying they win, but taking Berlin would take a lot longer. Well, I guess, yeah, in that way, changing history. But, like, yeah. I mean, it wouldn't be that much of a change. It would still have the same outcome. Usually when someone says changing history, they imply, like, a, a pretty big change. Are we going to get a hermit crab? Hello? Hello? See, I get so scared walking in front of these, because, like, the legs just, like, creep out. That freaks me out. Imagine the German Luftwaffe had today's advanced jets in World War One. In World War One? I? I mean, like, uh, if anyone had the advanced jets in World War One or for World War Two, for that matter, they would have won. Oh, World War II. Yeah, if anyone had the advanced jets of World War II, I mean, obviously they would have easy superiority. But they didn't. Because usually we all have mostly equal tech. In, in, the, in the World Wars, we had mostly equal tech because as things were made on one side, the other side, you know, the scientists on the other side saw the design and worked as fast as they could to recreate it, copy it, or counter it, so... That's usually what happens in war anyway. You know, one side gets tanks, the other sides get their own version of tanks. One side gets jets, eventually the other side did get jets. Because, I mean, the Germans did have jets back then. They had their prototype, but they were used towards the end of the war. A little bit too late, but you know, they had them. Alright, we're almost to the submarine. Some really nasty looking... Oh yeah, that's what I thought. It's increased radiation from anywhere else I've been to. I, I was expecting that. I was kind of hoping it would be like that. I mean, look at it. Ew. This better be less fucking safe to swim in. Rocket already too? Yeah, they had rocket already. They had the... Uh, I mean, they had, you know, like the... Uh, uh, what are they called? Well, I can't remember what they're called. Well, they had the Panzer off the the uh, Panzer wagons, which actually had it mounted on it. But what were the Nebel 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 Werfers? That them, and then the Panzer Werfers, and then of course they had the V ones and V twos. The Malasses and the German tank. Yeah, th yeah. Bam! Oh, oh yeah, the Jukes. What's up, buddy? Get some. What do you have? A hardened sniper rifle. A little bit slow to the punch, but hey, you tried. Let's go and save right a bed. Did you know Hitler took cocaine to help with his health issues, which caused him to make bad tactical decisions that made Germany lose World War II? I didn't know that. Isn't it, like, I'm pretty sure I heard this somewhere, wasn't, like, Hitler renowned, like, very known to be a terrible, terrible tactical planner in World War II, and most of his generals were the real planners? I think, I heard that somewhere where Hitler was actually, like, a really bad planner, and if he had some different choices in, you know, where he sent certain vehicles... It could have changed. That could have changed the war. I, I think I remember reading or hearing that somewhere on like a. Ow! I got a concussion. Like a History Channel thing before you know History Channel was like reality TV. Maybe in a documentary. I don't remember. Oh my god! I picked up nine missiles. What the fuck? Nope. Yeah, I really want to pick up sixty-three pounds worth of shit. Yep. All right, let's go ahead and uh, save again. Yeah, Werfers, Panzer Werfers, and then the Calliope, and the Russian ones, whatever it was. Ah, uh, the BT-37s, question mark, maybe? I can't remember 100% what the Russian ones are called. Calliopes are cool, though. 
I'm like a big fan of Sherman tanks, so the Calliope's are cool. My favorite kind of Sherman tank is the, uh, or at least kind of model is the Firefly. With the longer barrel. I think it, what was that? Was that the 75 millimeter? I can't remember the cannon. That was the 105. No, that was, no, 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 no. I think it was the 75. I can't remember. Oh, man. It's been a while. Occasionally he overruled his generals. So that, yeah, yeah, and that's, and those were the bad decisions. When, I, I remember reading that. When, when he overruled his generals, that's when he did bad decisions, though. Like, when, like, his generals insisted something else. And, oh, my God. Relics still lying about. Like, his general, he's got a lot of money. His general suggested something, and he did the other thing, and that, like, caused big problems. RBT7. He's a great orator. Command structure for the Nazi regime is not good compared to the Allies. Well, I mean, uh, <laughs> the command structure of the Nazis is basically some fucking guy up in top. Like, no, I went this way! Mm. It's my way or the highway. Why is the HVSS with the Heat 105? Fun fact, guys. Most of my knowledge of World War II stuff is not because I study it, not because I watch documentaries, but because I play Men of War and other World War II strategy games. <laughs> See? Video games teach you shit. And, World and War Thunder and fucking... Just a bunch of World War II games. All my knowledge is from video games. And maybe a few documentaries here and there, but most things I read in documentaries or hear in documentaries, I've already learned to be a video game anyway. Fuck, I'm over encumbered. Alright, we'll start filling up dog meat first. Look alive. Oh my god, his face right now. Alright. You're getting the first of it, dog meat. Are you seriously already full? Yeah. You can only, you can only carry 12, I think. Look alive. What's eating you? I'd say the biggest things that influence my knowledge are Company of Heroes, Men of War, and War Thunder. Although less so Company of Heroes. Mostly Men of War and War.